everybody, and welcome to another Xanax-infused Hulk Hogan Christmas special. Or just a new series. I've hyped this series for almost two days now. It kept getting delayed, and delayed, and delayed, and guess what? Delayed. But now, it's actually being you know, brought forth after six tries, or times, trying to film this, and countless cuss words, and countless throwing shit. Here it is, the first Starscream review, and I thought, what better way to kick things off than one of the best studio series figures of all time. Today we're going to be having a look at Studio Series 56, Shockwave. For me, Shockwave is a special case. Uh, I love Dark of the Moon. Dark of the Moon is actually my favorite Transformers movie. Um, it's the first movie I ever saw in theaters when I was six. And it's the first movie I saw in theaters before my grandpa died. Um... So, yeah, I love Dark of the Moon so much. In fact, somewhere, I can't remember where I put it, but somewhere I have the novelization of Dark of the Moon. Anyway, I digress. Shockwave was one of my favorite characters from Sh Dark of the Moon. He was, he is a fan favorite ab among Michael Bay fans, just because his design and his prowess is on screen just he's big he's beefy he's mean and i think that's why people most gravitate towards shockwave when they or er, before he was announced most people would have said their most anticipated studio series figure would have been shockwave or sentinel prime and well now i have both and i'm all the more happy about it but before we get into articulation and details and size comparison, let's get in to the accessories. First accessories we're going to have a look at are brains and wheelie. These are very small, so be very careful. These are easy to lose, especially on shag carpet. That's what I have, so I tape these guys to my shelf most commonly. But Brains is done in a nice silver metallic color. Nice electric blue for his hair and his eyes. One arm is bigger than the other, but that is very movie accurate. Setting him off to the side right there. Wheelie is my favorite out of the two. He is so accurate to the movie. Uh, the nice dark blue for his base body in black for his tires, on his shoulders, and his feet, and he has red eyes, and there's actually tire tread sculpt for his feet. So, yeah. I think those guys are pretty cool. Uh, yet again, I didn't really like him in the movie. I still really don't, but oh well. Next, next accessory is, well, the paratrooper. This guy is made out of a rubbery plastic, so you can just stretch him and do whatever you want with him. The only paint he has is this kind of flesh tone on the mouth, but I don't really care. He's not really going to be on my display. But this parachute is also made out of the material that Studio Series Dark of the Moon Megatron's um, cloak was made out of. It's just a nice, strong fabric type material. And he has a port on the foot with some pegs on Shockwave's back that allows you to make him be dropping on on Shockwave, if you want to. But be warned, it does tangle easily. See, I just tangled it up taking it off of Shockwave. Well now, let's say we get into some detail, some sculpt. Bringing Shockwave closer in... And looking at his 
beautiful head sculpt. It looks exactly like he did in the movie. He has the nice mandibles with the great teeth type sculpt right there. He has these little sculpted lines that come across under the eye on both sides. He has his little horns coming out right here, and overall the head is done in a nice purple wash. Same with a lot of the body parts. Moving down to the chest, he has these nice rib cage details that I love on this guy. Uh, the center is done, er, bleh. The center has these lines that's just so movie accurate, and if you can see right in there, there's still detail way in there and way in there. So it's like, Jesus, they went all out on this guy. But one complaint I do have is this area, this area right here. It's really just done in a silver, silver wash. So from the chest down to his crotch, no purple, which is kind of jarring because the whole chest is purple. And then you come down to the legs and it's purple. But, eh, what are you going to do? When it is, silver wash is good. It looks good, too. Going on the shoulders, this is a brand new shoulder sculpt. Uh, this is a heavy remold of the Revenge of the Fallen Studio Series Megatron figure. So, yeah. Arms done in a nice purple wash, like I said. Rubbery hands, which I hate. His, his hips are reused from Revenge of the Fallen Megatron, but that's pretty much all there is for reuse on this guy. But his legs are done in this nice purple wash. His kneecap is movable. He has this nice tri-horn on his kneecap. And something I didn't notice until I got him in hand. There's a little divot in the kneecap, in the shoulder, er, not in the shoulder, in the kneecap. That's attention to detail right there. But going on down to his calf, you have this great sculpted detail hiding the tread. And then his foot is in a nice purple, just plain purple. And the spikes, while rubber, are done in a nice silver brush. His cannon is also done in a nice purple he has these prongs right here. It's a rubbery, but uh, whatever. And the hose right here. It's just big, it's just bad, it's just beefy, and it looks like Baver's Shockwave should. Now, why don't you say we get into some articulation? So, he can look up, about that far, way up, down, not so far. But you use this hinge, and he can look way down. Uh, his head is on a ball joint, so you get all sorts of rotation and everything. Arm out, bicep swivel, single-jointed elbow. Uh, but on the cannon arm, it does seem like the single-jointed elbow does go a little bit further than it does on his regular arm. But that's just me. Uh, there's this little hinge right here, so you can move his hand back and forth. His leg goes up, kicks out about that far, kicks back way far. He has a spread thigh swivel, single jointed knee a little past 90. Uh, like I said before, this can move. Um, foot can go down, up, and crazy ankle pivot. If we bring in my trusty tape measure, he is around 7.5 inches to the top of this. Here he is next to the other two Narc of the Moon Leader class figures, Jetwing Optimus Prime and Megatron. Here he is next to all of my other Dark of the Moon uh, Voyager, or er, not Voyager, uh, deluxe class figures. We have Soundwave, Sideswipe, and Camaro Bumblebee. This guy gets in some great poses. Um, I love the articulation on this guy. If you see on my Instagram, which I'm posting this on my Instagram TV and my YouTube, go follow. If you're watching this on YouTube, go follow me at Starscream underscore Rules underscore 1984. If you saw my Twitter 
or not my Twitter, my Instagram, you know that I did some pretty good pictures of him on some uh, limestone cliffs and everything, him fighting Siege Springer. So, yeah, uh, let's get into the transformation. Here is his sh pretty shit tank mode. I know that they had to make him a tank mode and everything, but it just... It's floppy, it doesn't work for me, nothing tabs in for me, I think I mistransformed it. It definitely looks like a pile of garbage. AKA the last night. Anyway, uh, tank mode is just... Hand, arm is right there, you can see the hand. His face is literally supposed to be like this. That is the official configuration. Look at it. It just sucks ass. He's like, oh, hi. This is, this alt mode is illogical. I agree. Anyway, it's just shit. So let's get into back him back into robot mode. And let's give my final thoughts. Overall, I think this figure is a great addition to your Studio Series line. Even if you just collect Siege, Earthrise, and Studio Series, this will fit in perfectly with almost all of them. But, wait. Oh god, the complaints. I can already hear you commenting. <sighs> okay, you can stop commenting now. May I say, I do not like this guy's backdrop. Like, okay, look at it. Taking Shockwave away. It's in the air. It works great with the guy, but not with Shockwave. Shockwave was never in the air with these guys. I just don't understand why they would add this one. Like, you could have done one with the driller arm in the background. You know, it... Hasbro is pretty fucking dumb. Let's just all agree on that. Sometimes they aren't smart, so... I'm never going to use this, I never use the Studio Series backdrops, so this is just going back in the box. As a mainline Transformers collector, this really satisfies my hunger for a good movie Dark of the Moon shockwave. I love this figure. I think it's an illogical purchase. In my opinion, it, is, it gets 8 laser beams out of 10. So, yeah. If you yourself were planning on getting this figure, I'd recommend getting off it off either Big Bad Toy Store or Amazon, because almost everywhere else is sold out. But, yeah. I love this figure. Uh, comment uh, your death threats down below. My Twitter is StarscreamRules1984. Uh, for those of you watching it on YouTube, my Instagram is starscream underscore rules underscore 1984. And for those of you watching it on Instagram, my YouTube channel name is just starscream rules. So go check out all of my media to see my photography, my videos, my unboxings, and everything else I might do in between. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like it, comment, share. Send your death threats send your death threats in my DMs and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.